Welcome to Drawfee, where we take dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Nathan. <laughs> I'm Karina. I'm Jacob. <laughs> I'm Julia. And I ra, you ra, we all ra. Where's he going with this? For she ra. Oh! <laughs> he did it! That's Julia came up with that joke before <laughs> we started recording. I think my favorite ra is the ra from WWE. I like the uh, Egyptian god, yeah. the sun god Ra, personally. I like the winged dragon of Ra from Yu Gi Oh! From Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> uh, so come prepared Ra's. with a Ra that I liked. <laughs> I Loser. Think... What about Ra Ra Sis Boom Ba? That's a good one. We're yeah. doing She Ra. That's the only Ra we care about on this episode. Uh, lots of people have suggested this. Uh, I'm going to credit Laney Boy for suggesting it because they've been very persistent. They, they want us to do some she characters. And I think I've seen the most she out of all of us. I haven't seen season three yet at the time of recording this, but maybe I'll have seen it by the time this episode comes out. <laughs> maybe there will be a whole nother season out by the time this episode comes out. We never know. It's Anything a, could happen. It's a possibility. You guys are my best friend squad. So let's, let's get into it. Karina, <laughs> huh. I would like for you to draw the character from She-Ra, uh-huh. one of the princesses of power, uh-huh. Entrapta. Princess Entrapta. Entrapta? Oh. That's not a good name. That's well, here's the thing. Name. They had to use all the names of the characters <laughs> from the 80s show. Yeah, that is a very 80s name. Yeah, I was just thinking it sounds like some sort of like 80s club music styling. Yeah. <laughs> Let me give you some information about Entrapta from the Shira and the Princesses of Power Wikia. Entrapta is incredibly hyperactive and cheerful. She's incredibly intelligent and lives in a building that only robots are capable of easily navigating. It's unclear exactly why she had it built like that. It could be due to her curious nature. She has a very positive outlook on life. Uh, and doesn't seem to mind what's going on in the world as long as she can do experiments and research. She's basically a happy-go-lucky science lady. Named Entrapta. Named Entrapta. Which is not, that's not a happy-go-lucky name. No. I'd just like to point out. spooky name. Yeah. I do want to mention just real fast that this mouth that Karina has drawn, I kept reading as a nose. Oh, like she's a got a very, very nose. broad, <laughs> a broad a nose. broad nose. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Karina, do you you've yes. seen all of season one, and I believe Entrapped is introduced in season one yes. when they're like going I around. I do remember her. They should call it instead of seasons, seasons. They should call it that, Jacob. You're That's right. That's what Sean Connery calls them. Season. <laughs> season. <laughs> I'm watching the latest season. That's the latest the season of she Style is, and they have like. I'm a big fan of she Oh yeah, they, add that in coloring. Yeah, they all have that like. That right now, <laughs> they all have that like that rouge that goes yeah. from their cheeks I over like their that. nose. I like it too. I like the way they have they do knees also. They're just sort of a little splotch of color on the knees. Glimmer's got those real those sort of round knees. How do you remember all of these details? How do I remember yeah, details? I don't remember the knee details. All of, all of these little details. <laughs> they should call them knee tails. They should call them she tails. <laughs> they should call them she tails. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna show you a picture of Glimmer. <laughs> she tails, knee tails by the she shore. What? <laughs> it's a tongue twister. Is it? Yeah, you try saying it. I don't want to because I don't remember what she said. A thing. She has a thing. A a visor. Look. Like Torbjorn. Look at her knees. (laughs) Aren't they pleasant? Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> like Torbjorn. Oh, she has like one of them welding masks? Yeah, she's got like a welding so. mask with like uh, the eye stuff. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to give too much like away. Torbjorn. Like Torbjorn. She's basically like if Torbjorn was a princess of power. That's been the question on everyone's <laughs> lips. And she talks kind of like, is... oh, hey guys, it's me, Entrapta. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> she's like if Owen Wilson was a princess. She has like big old she, hair. She's got she's got Whoa. prehensile hair. Prehensile hair. Yeah, she's got uh those big long pigtails that she uses as as like Doc Ock arms, kind of. Oh, that's fun. It's yeah, a very cool like... design. All the designs. It's I, a wild design. I love the way Noel Stevenson just like took all of these insane characters from the eighties and gave them all cool designs and fleshed out characters. Does she in stand the show. on the hair? She she can stand on the hair. Yeah. Wow. The hair can be leg or arm, depending on what she need. Which that, I never better than understood arms, that. Is <laughs> that ever explained? It's technology. She clearly has some sort of hair technology <laughs> at Is her it disposal. Technology? 
everything. Or is it magic? Oh. In Guilty Gear, yeah. Amelia Rage fights with her hair, and she can make it do all sorts of, of cool things. She shoots an arrow from it. I remember she's very short. Yeah, she's short so, compared to her hair. Yeah. I think Torbjorn is, is actually a princess of power. Yeah, she's yeah. short like Torbjorn. Yeah. I don't remember what she There's wears. There's a lot of Torb crossover. I guess she just wears what Torbjorn wears. What about overalls? Does she wear like Torb future wear overalls? overalls? No, I mean, I'm just saying she could. I remember it's just an she option. has gloves. Mm-hmm. You gotta. She, she does have gloves. <laughs> she's got, I don't even know how to describe her outfit. What about like an apron? Like one of those uh, like blacksmith's aprons. Yeah. yeah. Those are cool. Does she have a tool belt? I would assume she has a tool belt. I remember watching the first couple episodes and I was like, the horde, it's called the horde? It's called the evil horde. Yeah. Because it's pretty, I remember She-Ra's all like, oh, are we the bad guy? Yeah. (laughs) And it's like, yeah, like, yeah, obvious, very obvious. Yeah. (laughs) Like there's, couldn't possibly be a more evil looking and sounding and just the whole vibe. They live in the fright zone. Yeah. You live in a fright zone and you're <laughs> being talked to by like a shadow wizard. <laughs> With a voice like this. Shadow wizard. They might as well have skulls on their uniforms. Yeah, and yeah. You're, you're called the Horde. Go easy on Adora, she had it rough. She's just, yeah, she. Shadow Weaver is a big time gaslighter manipulator lady. She's also called Shadow Weaver. Yeah, she's yeah. Called, you can't trust someone called Shadow Weaver. You just can't do that. <laughs> Hammer like Torbjorn. Okay, so you gave her like a Thor hammer. Yeah, you gave she her has a, like little robots. You really like Torbjorn. <laughs> you really muscled up this hair. Like this. If That's I, what I remember. <laughs> it's, it's got beefy hair. It's strong. Yeah. Yeah. yeah let's give her some turrets. Okay. Yeah. I don't remember what a turret looks like. She loves the turrets. Like Torbjorn. They're her like children Torbjorn. or her wife. I <laughs> this forget is... what Torbjorn's deal is. Are he's, they his wife? He's married <laughs> There's to nothing in the, the rule book. turret and has turret children. There's nothing in the rule book that says you can't marry your own turret. <laughs> we maybe should... It has little wheels yeah, like an so office chair. It can go chair. around. Yeah. It can <laughs> go around. <laughs> yeah, when it shoots, it's castle. just going to go all willy nilly. Yeah, it's going <laughs> to get... go backwards. <laughs> the blowback. <laughs> <laughs> you can use that to get around quickly. It's just a little baby. It's just a little baby. It's, uh, it's just a dumb little baby. Yeah, can what you, you give? To do? Can you give this one spider legs? <laughs> oh, yeah. She was trying out different leg types yeah. on these turrets to be like, <laughs> what absolutely. Yeah. will prevent them from launching themselves all around the room whenever they try to shoot? Just yes. Chaotic neutral things. I'm glad, Karina, that you drew this because now I don't have to worry about the suitability for thumbnail of Jacob and Julia's drawings. <laughs> like, this, is, this is recognizable enough <laughs> as a character from She-Ra. Because I know nothing. <laughs> Um, Way to go, Karina. I knew, I knew a little too much, but. That's okay. I knew that there was one. I'm, I'm cat glad person. I got to draw Torbjorn. Yeah. This is Torbjorn. <laughs> I mean, you did, like, there, there are some differences. Uh, you drew, like, a, a younger looking uh, Entrapta, I would say. I guess so. Yeah, she doesn't look like she has an Owen Wilson voice, but. No. Hey, Whatever. guys. <laughs> wow. Some turrets. Wow. <laughs> That's kind of what she sounds like in my mind. <laughs> yeah. I hope I don't die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the voice actress, who's the voice actress for Entrapta? Owen She's, Wilson. She, she does a great job. <laughs> I love Owen Wilson as <laughs> It's clearly job. like Owen Wilson in a wig and makeup, <laughs> like pretending to be someone else. <laughs> All right, here's Torbjorn. Okay, do you want to see what she actually looks like? Yeah. That's pretty much it. I love her design. Oh, she has like oh, uh, it's fun. What do you call them? Big old pants. Yeah, that's what she's got. Big old <laughs> pants. She's got little like metal bits on the front of her f- shoes for kicking. So I remember having big pants, but uh, I didn't make them flare out at the end. No. Yeah. Okay. I gave her a Torbjorn hammer instead of a wrench. And she she kind of looks whatever. like a raver. Yeah, or, or like a middle school. Well, she she listens yeah. to Entrapta music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or she looks like a raver or a middle schooler. <laughs> There's like a fine the line. The crossover there. Yeah. 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 She's One a cool anime con rave. She's a cool character. All right. Good job, right. Karina. Someone who knows nothing. Get in here. I Jacob. know nothing. Jacob, you mentioned that you love Katra, as we all do. Yeah, she's a cat. And you know who Katra's best friend is? Catra's sort of right hand lady in in a good chunk of the season is a character named Scorpia. Scorpia. 
Yeah. Dope. <laughs> Hell yeah. It sounds like a Mortal Kombat character. It, it does sound like a Mortal Kombat <laughs> character uh, because there is a Mortal Kombat character named Scorpion and it would be very much in line with Mortal Kombat to just make a female version of that character <laughs> named Scorpia. That's, yeah, that's very true. Scorpia, even though she is apparently a respected general in the Horde, is a very kind, naive, and loving force captain. Oh, I was Bear- about to get like a pose kind of like this, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just make just give her a kind face. Yeah. She Here I come. It's it, like the way they introduce her in the show is you cuz she's got a very imposing sort of figure. Okay, so I can do this. <laughs> yeah, you can do this. But then she's just like, "Oh, hey, I'm a hugger." She oh, okay. she's a she's a hugger. She's a hugger. One way if I, if you I could may add, she has a lot of Wisconsin energy in my she's, opinion. Yeah, <laughs> she's Wisconsin got energy. she's got she's got big Midwest energy. Okay, I'm deleting this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting over. I have a completely different vibe now. I was thinking like a like a really long and lanky. Sort of like way too tall with like sort of bug like limbs. Oh, she is tall, but she's she's a she's thick. She tall and thick. Yeah, mm-hmm. she's pretty. She's a healthy build, I would say. She's she looks like strong. she could. She looks like she could mess you up real okay, good. Yeah. I want like a firmer head. A firm head on I, her I shoulders. Want a firm head on those shoulders. I'm just picking characters whose designs and sort of personalities I like a lot in the show for you to draw. Is is what I mean. That's... Is what I'm doing because yeah, Scorpia is a member of the Horde, but she's. I don't, it's like, it feels really incidental. She seems just like a chill person. She just happens to be in the Horde. It has to do with the fact that, cause she is also a princess uh, of power, I believe, but her uh, her family were outcasts amongst the other princesses, I think because of their monstrous features. Monstrous, yeah, I'm on the right path. <laughs> I want a strong, Yeah. this is a strong woman. Yeah. And she's gonna do some some fucking up. Like without giving too much away, Maybe this will give too much away, but I'm gonna do it. She's she's got sort of strong Zarya vibes oh. in terms of her appearance. Okay, so I, I am like sort of headed down a yeah. a, a correct. If path Zarya there. was from the Midwest, <laughs> was like a friendly Midwestern like not mom but aunt maybe a friendly yeah. Midwestern aunt. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's that's sort of also named Scorpia, and also named Scorpia. Yeah, and, you know she has a scorpion stuff. She does have a scorpion she, stuff. She's got scorpion stuff up up on her. I've got some some stuff to kind of figure out here. Yeah, maybe uh, I gave you too much information. Maybe you should have just gone with the your original instinct, but which was like a screaming, the, the feral jumping creature. <laughs> yeah, yeah, screaming sort of. I leaping. did like the pose you had for her. Well, then you kind of gave me this like strong, like more stoic type who probably yeah. wouldn't be in a leaping scream <laughs> pose. <laughs> I think we're gonna go for more of a, you know, a classic like, uh, you know, hand on a hip sort of like I'm, I'm gonna f- do a strong on you. Here's some more information from the Wikia. She is not very serious or very competent, but she does oh. get the job done. <laughs> she also has a fear of lightning. Oh. <laughs> I love how with every new bit of information, I can just see Jacob's face go, oh no, <laughs> I have to change everything. <laughs> Don't change it, just keep going. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna have to keep going. Um, so we, we said like Midwestern mom energy. Midwestern aunt energy. Midwestern she's, not, aunt. she's not fully rearing any children for sure. Absolutely not. She's just, she's a hugger. She's happy to see you. She wants to be friends okay. or destroy you depending on. <laughs> Where you're at? I in want the, uh, this um, this sort of like mom hair. I cool. think it's this like aunt hair. Yeah, so we're gonna get it sort of like one of them high oh. high mom looks. <laughs> the the let me speak to the manager cut. <laughs> <laughs> this is like because I don't know how old she's supposed to be. I guess they're all they're all supposed to be like between like teen and young adult, the the character, the princesses, right? I'm not really sure. It's unclear. Yeah. It's it's this this alternate world where, you know, the, they all seem like kids, but they also have way more power and responsibility than yeah. kids because it's a kid's show and that's what, what happens. But it's got crossover <laughs> appeal because I'm an adult and I watch it. So it can't be childish. No, it, I'm just saying it, 
sometimes just saying something's a kid's show can feel reductive, and I didn't want to. No, I got you. I didn't want uh, to uh, <laughs> pigeonhole. I was just making a goof. I was just goofing around. You can't goof about Shira. You can goof about Shira. So she's not. She's not serious. No, she's she's happy to be there. She's happy to be there. She's having fun. She's a hugger. That's all you got to oh, know. Oh, my God. She shows up and she's like, I'm a hugger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think this is sort of like an armor sort of Ooh. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Situation yeah. like a bug armor. Yeah, like a carapace. An exoskeleton. To get that uh, that snake that snake vibe. Scor- S- scorpion. Snake. Scorpion. Uh, snake, scorpion. They're Snakes kind of all in the same. Yeah. yeah. They're all S words. They're really not. They're all, they're all, they're all sort the of. the same shit. <laughs> it's all the same shit. If you, if you think about Snakes, it. Snakes, scorpions. Snakes, scorpions. What's more relatable uh, with having no legs than having too many legs? <laughs> exactly. It's, just the, it's the wrong number of legs for comfort. Yeah. So Midwestern aunt, she also has like a necklace. Sure. <laughs> Like a pearl. Oh, that's pearl nice. Necklace. Strong. This is like a cheerleader mom who, like, also was like head cheerleader and is like, you know, stayed strong. Yeah. You know, as becoming an adult. <laughs> yeah, totally. I feel only like became stronger. Only th- became stronger. Yeah. This is Scorpia in like ten years. <laughs> I feel like this is if if things keep going the way they've been going, this is what <laughs> Scorpia's sort of glow up is. <laughs> This is what Scorpio is making Twitter posts about. It's like 10 years in the future, watching my little little nephews playing softball. Yeah. <laughs> in the fright zone. <laughs> Where we live. Where we live. We in live the... and laugh and love. <laughs> Scorpio absolutely has a live, laugh, love. Yeah, little, multiple. Like, cross stitch. Like hang, in her bunker. In her bunker <laughs> in the fright zone. <laughs> Fright zone is so funny. <laughs> yeah, I think it's sort of like those armory underwear yeah. things. I don't know what the underwear part of the armor is called, but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, the little diapies that underwear. Yeah, the have. little that, metal that, that armors have. The metal diapies. The metal diapies. <laughs> this is like a ab armor here. Uh, like scorpion. Like, like scorpions how scorpions have. Small scorpions. Scorpions have abs. would have abs. Yeah. The since you added the abs. Now I'm just getting Piccolo vibes. <laughs> yeah, maybe she's got some Piccolo vibes. This is Piccolo's aunt, Scorpia. <laughs> Do yeah. you fear Piccolo's like a, a Midwestern dad? Yeah. Piccolo's is, yeah, <laughs> he's uncle. like a little too masculine, you know, but he tries his best. He's got a yeah. lot of love to give, and he's got to take care of his <laughs> trying his, his, his dumb back, brother's yeah. child to be abandoned. Constantly. Constantly. I love this fanfic. <laughs> It's not even fanfic. <laughs> That's just what happens in Dragon Ball. No, the crossover. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Piccolo and Scorpia have to <laughs> take care of all of <laughs> all of Goku's kids. Goku's thousand children, yeah. thousand powerful sons. <laughs> uh, this is shiny. Yeah. This part's all shiny. I like that. Good. This is shiny. Good. Arms. Arm situation. She's Buff. got those. Yeah. Buff arms. Oh, are we going to go to like- Gun show. Okay. Yeah. Go real gun show with this woman. <laughs> the arms She's from the Midwest. She needs to have a gun show. Yeah, the arms don't. They're not in armor. And this one's kind of like up here. Maybe she's like on her phone. She's probably posting <laughs> pics of her nephews. <laughs> well, I just gotta get Travis over to football practice. Travis. <laughs> Travis. <laughs> That's just Travis. <laughs> Travis. That's just Travis. Travis. You said wrong. No, uh, there's like a Y in there. Travis. So yeah. you've you've opted to give her just sort of human hands, which I like. Oh. Does she not? <laughs> well, again, I don't know how much physical description I should give you. But they're not human hands. Okay, well the you've other one definitely I'll... implied something. Yeah, yeah, you've done some heavy <laughs> implying. Here. Yeah. Hook hands. Uh, probably like a claw, I'd imagine. Nah, hook hands. I don't know why it would be hook a hook. Claw. Hook claw. Hook, hook claw. Hook claw. Like that. Another pearl pearl bracelet. Aw. <laughs> On that one, it's a claw. That's it's one that definitely her inside. niece made. Not my best says hand something. Work. It's like heart <laughs> aunt or something. You know, I heart my aunt. I heart my aunt. <laughs> <laughs> Number one aunt mug. Yeah, <laughs> that's what the bracelet says. <laughs> we'll get this this strong arm going more this way. Yeah, and oh, yeah. this one ends in a in a claw. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. nice. You know, just a little scorpion claw. Crab claw. Crab crab claw. Crab. <laughs> just, this, this one is, ends in a crab claw. This is 
<laughs> this is Scorpia's like long lost sister, Lobstera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just picturing this woman in a charity tee that says like I raw for she raw or something and yeah. then it, like has the year and then like yeah. it's like a run. It's like five K. Yeah. She'd be so supportive. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a neon color shirt. It's like I have yeah. to I have to fight you, but you know I'm I'm a fan of your whole oh, your whole deal. Glowing. She is yeah. glowing. It's you get that glowing energy when nice. she comes in the room. <laughs> Unless um, you're uh, you know, a server at a Chili's, in which case you better fucking watch <laughs> yeah. out. I mean, if you're already a server at a Chili's in the Fright Zone, like. Yeah, I can't imagine what the Fright Zone Chili's is like, but it can't be a good place to work. I'm done. I'm going to look her okay, up. Okay, here you go. Oh. Oh, she's cool. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I like her. She's got a cool look. She has a lot more yeah. uh, carapace than she I. She leaned so hard into the Midwestern aunt. Well, I, I, I was hearing that a lot. I was, I was, hearing a lot I was of trying that. to convey vibes, yeah, but yeah, I energy. guess an energy. And so I think this is this is how maybe she sees herself. Well, this like this character, his name is Scorpiona or whatever, and she looks just like a scorpion. And then the other one's name was Entrapta, and she's just a <laughs> raver with big pigtails. Like, I couldn't like judge from the name that it was going to look anything like I thought. I'm done. Okay, so. I have a confession to make. Laney Boy had more to their suggestion. Uh -oh. They specifically requested one character uh, and that Julia be the one to draw that character. So I'm going okay. to return to Laney Boy's suggestion and say, Julia, mm -hmm. can you please draw Captain Seahawk? <laughs> Captain Seahawk. Captain Seahawk. Can I get a yar in the chat? <laughs> <laughs> We're not on stream. We're not on stream, Jacob. <laughs> They'll say it in the comments They'll and it'll just, all be. Just the next stream we have after this video <laughs> posts, we're gonna get so many yars. <laughs> this is one of my favorite uh, descriptions in the, in the wikia. Okay. Gregarious, charming, egotistical, and sometimes narcissistic, Seahawk is a big presence with quite a lot to say and sometimes to sing, often to the chagrin of others. Oh, he's gung-ho for adventure and he loves telling others about the many he's had. However, he's also got a sensitive streak, especially for Mermista, Ooh. and a strong desire to be liked stemming from being quite far from home. So he sings a lot? He does like to sing. So he's a happy singing pirate who loves to, to talk about adventures. I think as long as you draw a handsome man with a mustache, everything oh. else is up to you. Okay, yeah, I can do that. Oh, there he is. There you go. Yeah. Damn. Huh. Captain huh. Seahawk. <laughs> You're making so many people so happy, Julia, <laughs> by drawing Captain Seahawk. Cool. That's what they want. Um, so I hope he ends up being an actual hawk. <laughs> I was debating drawing him as an actual hawk. <laughs> Just storm the albatross part two. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not too late. It's true. You can't just make him a bird with a mustache. You can put wings true. on him and at any hot time. Man body. Yeah. I have to get rid of this face. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a placeholder. Yeah, that's a, a face holder. holder. Thank you. Nice. <sighs> Good. Nice. <laughs> Julia, you'll also appreciate this. I I assume you you would add it anyway. Okay. But uh, he does have a a big popped collar. <gasps> I just, I, just I, I thought I'd be doing you a disservice if I left that Thank bit of you. info out. I'm trying to, I'm so trying to leave like it open ended. It must be like a cool coat situation. We got a cool coat. So I got, I got a pose here. Maybe a singing pose. Yeah. Um, he's a handsome. He's so handsome. Okay. He's handsome and he knows it. Okay, so he's a little, a little, a little confident. Little, yeah. yeah. Okay. He's so excited to sing you about his adventures <laughs> that he's had on the high seas. Okay. I want to hear those songs. Give me them songs. Can you songs. sing them? Can, can I sing, sing yeah, them? Nathan, can you sing them for <laughs> I don't know. Why not? Did I you not come prepared I didn't, for this episode? Uh, did you not prepare a song? Nathan, did you not prepare a song? Nathan, sing us like one like little song about an adventure. I don't. Just like real, just <laughs> like one verse. Why are you doing this? You can just make it up. You can <laughs> did I, style it. Did I do something? <laughs> <laughs> Are you mad at me? You know, just like <laughs> improvise an adventure song like right now for everyone to hear. I don't. About one of your adventures. About one, one of, of your mini adventures. One of my adventures? Yeah. yeah. I don't go on adventures. I Every day is. Life is an adventure. Here, here, how's this? Life is like a hurricane. You piece of shit. Here in 
Trophy. This is, you just stole it. That's not your own original work. I'm not a singer. I don't sing. We need to get a singer on here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The only things I know how to sing are anime theme songs with the Frasier lyrics. <laughs> oh, can you do that? Yeah. Toss salads and scrambled eggs. Do 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 Baby, I hear blues a call. Yeah. Toss salads and scrambled eggs. Toss salads and scrambled eggs. Toss salads and scrambled eggs. That's, Nathan, that's all I got. That was good. May I just say, you did it. It slaps. You na- It slaps. It's a slapper. <laughs> it's a slapper. It's an official slapper. <laughs> it's a Nathan slapper. Nathan is never hosting again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, this is a fresh cut. Yeah. I'm into this. Yeah. I'm into this look. I figured he'd have a, a, a cool, fresh cut. Yeah. Because that show, everyone's very stylish, except Everyone... for Entrapta. <laughs> <laughs> Entrapta's got her own style. She's in middle school. <laughs> Entrapta's okay, in middle point. school. <laughs> <laughs> She's a middle school raver. She's just hanging out in the Who's computer also lab. <laughs> She's Torbjorn. She has big computer lab energy. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be the new shit on Twitter after this episode drops. It's Everyone's big computer, lab computer lab energy. He's got big computer lab energy. <laughs> Julia, may I just say, in Julia fashion, you took the time to uh, show his wonderful undercut and then filled the whole thing in with black. Yeah. So that it's gone now. You know it's there. <laughs> in your heart of hearts. You know it's there. Ooh, this is such That's a, a deep, deep cut. cut. He's just wearing a coat, no shirt. Hell yeah. All the way down. Yeah, all the way down to like the, the, <laughs> the pube zone. <laughs> well, he's got he's to have a big belt on here. Oh, yeah, to cover the pubes. Yeah. To cover the no pubes. No pubes yeah. in she <laughs> <laughs> Not no. yet. Cowards. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the pubes? <laughs> yeah, we've had uh, we've had Molly Ostertag on uh, on the show, and I think we're guaranteeing that we will never have Noel Stevenson on <laughs> this episode. Yeah, <laughs> it's probably the right call to not to not come on the show. I think I want it to. Be I would off recommend center. it. Ooh. An off center buckle. This guy is too cool to. That's how you know he's cool. Yeah, he does not give a shit. Yeah. He's like belt, whatever, <laughs> just an accessory. Do you guys want to hear my a funny belt anecdote? <laughs> <laughs> when you pitch it like that, absolutely. Yes, Jacob. I'm so excited. This is this is my mom's story. <laughs> And it's, uh. it, it, it makes, <laughs> here it comes, no, get ready. <laughs> so my mom works at a dental office and one of the patients came in wearing a belt like, like that, like turned sideways. Mm-hmm. And my mom looked at it and she was like, whoa, that's awesome. Where do you get one of those side belts? <laughs> And they looked at her and just like, you just turn a belt sideways. <laughs> what do you mean? She was so convinced that a side belt was like, it's a, like a special a separate design. thing you had to get yeah. for it to work. Amazing. Uh, but he's got one of those side belts, <laughs> those special side belts. Do you guys like my belt anecdote? I loved it. That was exactly <laughs> what I was hoping for. Yeah, you know, it's not like too funny. <laughs> no, but it is like mildly. Anything else, I would have beat you within an inch of your life. <laughs> <laughs> Karina was ready. <laughs> oh, I love these epaulets. I, I was some, waiting. Some cap and crunch vibes. <laughs> I will say this isn't e- exactly his outfit in the show, but it, this definitely like has the same energy. Yeah, because okay, you've good. given him the the deep open, uh, just the jacket. He does wear a shirt, but it, the shirt has uh, a boob window in oh, it. Oh, nice. Oh, and he's got a little anchor tattoo. You know it. Yeah, oh. Jacob. Do you have any more belt anecdotes? <laughs> Do I have any more belt? Yeah, anecdotes? you got me really in the mood for belt anecdotes. <laughs> I mean, I thought the one I had was pretty. It, it left me wanting more. It well, was that's, that's how you well you want to leave. Them. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. If I told you more <laughs> belt anecdotes, and then eventually you'd be like, you know, I'm done with belt anecdotes. You leave a sour taste in your mouth. But yeah. now, you know, you hungry. now I, yeah. If anybody has a belt anecdote, leave it in the comments. It's got to be clean. 
No dirty belt anecdotes. No, it's got to be a clean, <laughs> wholesome anecdote. Yeah. Hey, Nathan, do you want to give me more information about I, this this fella? Uh, I don't want to give you any physical traits because well, this I've is gone, so good. Well, I've gone too far to be able to erase anything. Um, <laughs> let's go into his powers and abilities section okay. of the wikia. Seahawk, unlike most of the heroes besides Bo, has no magical powers to speak of. However, that doesn't mean he's useless. Agility. Seahawk is quite strong and agile. Arm wrestling. Seahawk is good at arm wrestling. <laughs> okay. Singing. Seahawk is a good singer. Fire-based tactics. Seahawk utilizes the tactic of fire-based combat by setting all his boats on fire <laughs> and ramming them into the enemy. It just makes me think how if I had a Wikipedia page with powers and abilities as a mandated <laughs> section, what it would say. Yeah, what's everyone's powers and abilities? <laughs> Jacob's definitely includes telling good belt, <laughs> belt anecdotes. Yeah, tells, tells great belt anecdotes. <laughs> Draw a few wiki. Just put some. Yeah. Put a power and ability section on each page. They're yeah. Wired. I, I think I'd have like taunting. <laughs> mm-hmm. I definitely make people angry. Jacob at me and, and with me. Jacob has the power uh, arbitrary uh, obstinate stance. Yeah. yeah, I have that power for sure. <laughs> the bad take power. Yeah. <laughs> Karina's got cool teen energy. Yeah. <laughs> she, Karina's got computer lab energy. <laughs> Thanks, I watch a lot of TikToks. <laughs> <laughs> Karina also has the, um, the, <laughs> the, I don't know what to call it, but casually threatening violence <laughs> in a way that's funny and not scary, but also a little scary. Yeah, just scary enough. <laughs> yeah. She has threatened to beat our asses yeah. multiple times in various ways. And it's always kind of delightful when yeah. it happens. Yeah. But I am also always scared a little bit too. Nathan's got sweet boy powers. Yeah. It makes you want to protect him. <laughs> you fool people into wanting to protect you. Yeah. Help me. <laughs> Julia has the power of being universally beloved and defended by, by the entirety of uh, the Droppy fan base. I've seen so they many- would mobilize for her in a heartbeat and take <laughs> on any foe. Julia is, people want to grow up to be you. Yay. Power. Yeah. I've seen multiple people just tweet something to that effect. I'm life aspirational goals, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> This is great. This is I, should so I? Neat. This is this is exactly what people wanted. I think. <laughs> I feel like he needs some sort of bird energy. <laughs> bird energy. Oh yeah, because he's a seahawk. <laughs> he's a seahawk. Sure. How about this? One angel wing <laughs> makes every design good. <laughs> Where Jacob's la lacked sort of the monstrous qualities that it that the actual design had. <laughs> Julia can suddenly. Oh, is that a shoulder? Oh, egg? is this a little burb? He got a little shoulder burb. Oh yeah. Oh, it's Dude! there round. he is. <laughs> there he is. Look out for Seahawk in the new Angry Birds movie. <laughs> this did rules. I, did I do you, it? you did it. You did it. Wow. I want to see okay. the real one. If Laney yeah. Boy isn't. Super happy with this, then I don't know. I don't even know. <laughs> Nothing can please Lane. I would have drawn. I mean, if they were looking for a horrible bird friend, you forget that I also no. love to draw a handsome no. man. Specifically, what Laney Boy requested was it would make me so happy to see Drew. Julia, oh, <laughs> sick. Wow, no, you can't do, do, don't do Damn. bits about my flubs, then I can't get a clean take. <laughs> we have to keep it in. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Lenny Boy said it would make me so happy to see Julia draw Captain Seahawk as a handsome man. Oh, and you did. Yay, okay. And you did. <laughs> but what about Julia? What Shut do you want, what your do you mouth. Want Julia to draw. What about bird? Bird. Do. 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 Wait, oh, that's where no. the mustache goes. <laughs> if bird has mustache. Yeah. How does it wear it? <laughs> yeah. Where would it go? We were so close to being done, and you've done this. <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> oh, where's the other mustache half gonna go? Oh, it's sort oh, of it's short. <laughs> it's it's just sort of draped over it. This um, is why mustaches did not make it in bird evolution because they covered the eyes. Yeah, <laughs> they had to evolve those out. Uh, All right. Do you want to see? Show Mr. Me. Seahawk, Captain Seahawk. Mr. Seahawk. Oh, I forgot bandana. 
He's got some sort of uh, oh yeah. Fred. He's got like <laughs> Treasure Planet vibe. Yeah, yeah, Treasure Planet Freddie Mercury. Yeah. Fred. I was gonna say Fred from Scooby Doo because he's got the he's got the what? little neckerchief. I did kind of get the <laughs> hair right. That's it. The only similarity. <laughs> yeah, you got the. I mean, you got the vibe. You got the energy. Thanks for drawing the Shiraz characters. Thanks for telling us the Shiraz characters. It's always wonderful to revisit the super cool designs from this show. Yeah. I love them. I love them. I love the show a lot. I'm probably going to go watch more tonight. Wow. Either the tonight of when we're recording or the tonight of when this posts. You don't know. Maybe both. Maybe. You have Maybe. no idea. Let's uh, end of the episode. Let us know yeah. what you'd like to see us draw uh, on subsequent episodes. And do please uh, tune in to the Twitch we stream Mondays, 7 to 9 p.m., and Fridays, 3 to 5 p.m., Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we, we love having the folks in there tell us what to draw. It's a good time. We're sorry. 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 Hey, gang, if you like that video, then the best way to support Drawfee is to sign up for Dropout. It costs less than a tube of tennis balls a month, and you'll get Drawfee videos a week early. You'll also get to talk to us on the Discord, and you'll get access to exclusive series like D20 and Cartoon Hell. Sign up for your free trial to drop out on dropout.tv. Won't cost you an arm and a leg nor your soul, though I did ask for that and they said no. So, whatever.